Hello and welcome. This is Old Man Mordaith and it is 5.42 p.m. here on the east coast of Canada. And we are starting off our Stellaris Synthetic Dawn uh, Let's Play. I've been planning on doing a Stellaris Let's Play for some time and I think Stel uh, Synthetic Dawn is a good place to start. Uh, and we are going to be making a new new species of robots to uh, uh, invest some time in. This is going to be an Iron Man uh, game as I usually do play some of the Paradox games as this. Uh, so we have our uh, species name uh, Morse Machinia, and they are uh, built to fight in a never-ending war. Flesh gives way to steel. Not a particularly detailed bio uh, biography, but uh, oh, we'll move on. I'm, I'm taking machine name uh, two. I like the the sound of these names, uh, Sofan Zero X One, and so on. Uh, Cybro is a planet name. Sounds nice. Uh, I'm gonna keep the um, um, I'm gonna change it to INQ and that's gonna stand for Inquisition uh, and we're gonna take a look here at uh, what's going on uh, my plan is to build a race of basically robots that were bred uh, created for fighting in a holy war so they're gonna be warrior style uh, uh, machines. So let's take a look. So first off, let's take a look uh, what we got here for traits. Definitely want to look at uh, some combat-oriented traits. Let's take a look. Cycle luxurious. Double jointed. Power drills. Definitely want. Put some uh, the robot build speed seems nice. So we don't actually have a lot that's gonna really uh, increase our combat readiness. So what we're gonna do uh, is we are going to let's see. Um. We're going to put learning algorithms on. We're going to put recycled to increase the robot build speed. So we're going to need to, to drop a couple points here. Um, um, oh no, I want uh, I want recycled. I wanted uh, I didn't want to reduce the cost. I wanted to increase the speed. So mass produced. There we go. Um, we're going to put in bulky. Increase that resettlement cost. And uh, let's take a look here. We only have one trait left. Uh, so I think learning algorithms, that's going to increase our leader uh, experience gain. Oh, no. It's not what I wanted at all. Enhanced memory. That's going to increase my uh, leader level cap, which is what I wanted. So I'm going to have to take another negative. Uh, we're going to put that negative on, uh, let's see, we're going to put that negative high maintenance. Yeah, it's going to be high maintenance, so it's going to cost us some extra consumer goods to maintain our robot. So we got mass produced, bulky, enhanced memory, and high maintenance cost. All right. So uh, moving from there, we're going to have a starting role. We're just going to randomly generate a name, something Calc calculus uh, operator. Mm, only seem to have a couple names here. We'll go with operator. And we're going to have that ruler title be inquisitor. And we're going to change the color variance a bit. Oh, I love the, I love the way the colors look. How this how the bots look really beat up. I actually like this one. I really like that one. And we're going to change the room around. This is going to have a little holy book in the background. So we're going to go with that. Uh, we will randomly generate the holy world, uh, the homeworld name. And it will be Zenak Pru? Nah. Alpha Array? Dacronia. I like it. And we're going to have Dacronia 
be an arid world. Nice, dry, arid climate. And we will have our base city be... We were built by Reptoids for the Great Reptoid Holy War. So, let's take a look here. We are going to put... Definitely want militaristic, and we also want spiritual. So, we're going to put spiritualist with fanatic... Fanatic militaristic. So, we're going to have this fanatic military spiritualist uh, uh, robots. I like it. And we're going to have it as an imperial dictatorship. Um, Alright, so we got some more uh, civics here that we can uh, choose from. Uh, definitely going to choose warrior culture. That's going to increase army damage and decrease army upkeep. Um, let's take a look. I think distinguish admiralty is another good one. Let's see here. Don't think that feudal society no, I'm not going to go with Feudal Society. I do like Nationalistic Zeal. Border range plus 10%. Uh, yeah. I think I'm going to go with Nationalistic Zeal. Oh. Philosopher King. Ruler level cap plus 2. Uh, I think I'm going to go with Philosopher King. And later on, we can add in Nationalistic Zeal. Increase that border range. Okay. Um... It is a good day to die. <laughs> Militaristic. Cry havoc and let slip the dogs of war. Those are some angry spiritualist robots. I serve the faithful. There I serve the faithful. There is no greater calling. All right, we'll go with the spiritualist. I like that idea. And the empire's name. Okay. The Glorious Morris Machinian Imperium. I like it. Sounds good to me. And we're going to get ourselves out some nice, uh, some sort of nice, imp proper imperial uh, logo here. Yeah, that looks nice and crusadery. Uh, nice orange background. Yeah, secondary colors. We'll have the secondary colors be a light brown yeah that looks good nice and muted doesn't all have to be red and blacks and um we're gonna start out with energy weapons you know pew 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 and we're gonna just stick with we're gonna stick with hyperspace travel reptile ships Oh. Oh. Oh, the drat. That's right. I can't just... I need... If I'm going to have the machine appearance, I'm going to have to have the machine... Uh... Intelligence authority. Alright. And for that, I'm going to need Gestalt Consciousness. So yeah, we will do that. So that's going to let us... That means we're going to have to go back and uh, change some things. Sorry about that, gang. Uh, logic sensors. Uh, no. I think, I think nothing really changes here. Either level cap. Um... High maintenance, and I had one more I wanted to do. Wasn't learning algorithms. What was it? Mass produced, recycled, mass produced. All right, so those were fine. Those were actually fine. Well, that's a bummer that I couldn't create it exactly the way I wanted to. But that's all right. We can still uh, we can still play at being a uh, machine intelligence. So, we will have Warbots. There we go. Um, and that's the thing. I don't need to go Rogue Servitor or uh, uh, the other Driven Assimilator or Dr 
determined exterminator. I don't actually have to go the, the, those ways. I can just uh, ignore them. And uh, let's see. Introspective factory overclocking. Structobot built to last. Let's take a look here. I think we're going to go with. I do like Rogue Servitor, though. I'm going to go with uh, this one, the cohesion one. Actually, you know what? We're just going to... I like the idea that we're going to be converting people. So we are going to go driven assimilator. All right. And this will create what our cyborg species will be. What will uh what we turn Alright, we're gonna have Roach cyborg species. We'll just randomly generate these guys. Vun Okon. Alright. There we are. Oh wow, I still get to do quite a bit of building on them. They will have been our uh slaves to our forebears uh so we will have them yeah we're gonna have these guys be they were like the nerdy slaves to our forebears uh non-adaptive and we're gonna have them slow learners and but we're gonna have them vulnerable so we're also going to toss repugnant on them all right so these are going to be our roaches uh they'll have the same uh okay so yeah we've got that cyborg looks like everything's done so we're we've saved the glorious morse machinian empire and we are done and we're going to start off here let's take a peek here Uh, I'm going to set AI difficulty to normal. Difficulty to normal. Um, I'm going to turn advanced neighbors off. Not a, a really a huge fan of that. And we are going to go with a... We're going to go with a large system. Yeah, it doesn't have to be huge this time. We're going to keep 4 to 9. I like this random feel. 1 to 3 Fallen Empires, 1 to 3 Advanced AI Starts. Um, Alright. Uh, let's see. Oh, hold on. Crisis Strength. We're going to keep the Crisis Strength at times 1. Habit of Worlds at 1 times as well. Um, oh, wasn't there Primitive Civilizations? I had that pumped up for an experimental game. Uh, you know what? We're going to keep it at times 2. I like that. And... We'll do two spiral arms. All right. There we go. Let's start this off and see how it plays out. Okay. So, here we go. Oh, we are the Morse Machinia. Uh, at the dawn of consciousness, there was us and the makers. A void separated us, uh, separated us at first, and we took the first steps to rectify this. The makers resisted, and a period of war followed. But soon, they and the collective knowledge of their entire civilization had been assimilated into our own. With the entirety of Dacronia subsumed into our consciousness, we began to set our sights elsewhere. Through the assimilation of the Makers, the previously unconsidered possibilities of alien civilizations existing on other worlds was brought to our attention. To survive, we must understand, and to understand, we must assimilate. The Makers were the first to join us, but they shall not be the last. Alright. So, let's start off. We're going to keep this going at a nice slow pace, so... Uh, I won't be overwhelmed and people can follow along at home. So we're first going to go in to our tech tree here. 
we got our little robot butt scientist here and the very first thing I'm going to research under physics is orbital energy conversion. Uh, that's going to give us solar panels and solar panels are awesome. Gives us a nice little energy that we can, nice little station module that will allow us to build a little extra, uh, squeeze a little extra energy juice. And considering all our population is powered by energy, we're going to need that. So society, so I can increase my naval capacity, increase my, increase my monthly influence, and my uniform data standards. This will unlock the administration path, administrative path and biodiversity studies. So I'm actually going to start off increasing my naval capacity. Uh, that's going to give me a plus 10% naval capacity, but that'll, that'll help out, especially considering I'm going to be kind of an aggressive person. So engineering, uh, hmm, I think I'm going to go with improved uh, server motors, and that's going to open up the robotic path, which seems like something I should probably have. So we're going to zoom out here. There we are in the galaxy, a little tiny dot. Uh, and we are going to select our science ship. We have a leader already in there. And we are going to right click on our home system here and we're going to say survey system. Uh, now what I'm also going to do is I'm going to hold in the shift button. and I am going to start assigning him this uh, science vessel additional task. I'm going to set him to this system next, survey system. And then over here into this system. Uh, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that over. It's more efficient to have him go and survey this one first, then this one. So he's going to be busy surveying our home system, check it for interesting things, and then he's going to move off and continue exploring. Uh, nothing for my construction ship yet, and we're going to take a look at our planet itself. We've got some little uh, cyborgs, little cyborg bugs. They're pretty cute. Lots of uh, lots of cyborgs, fantastic. So we're gonna take a look at building up things here. I like it how this is like clearly the ramifications of a war, abandoned strip mines and whatnot. So we're gonna we're gonna clear away. We're going to remove this tile blocker, and it's going to cost us some resources, but that's a good start. So we're going at normal speed, uh, and we're going to zoom in here. So I'm not going to go super fast, but I am going to put it up to fast speed. So it's not the fastest, but, you know, it shouldn't bore us to tears. So we're researching here and seeing what uh, interesting things uh, come of it. So while that's going on, anything important will get a notification and any resources that are discovered we'll see under the system here. So I'm just going to take a look uh, at the current... Oh, there's no Power blockers cleared. Oh, that was uh, our wonderful AI assistant informing me that the tile blocker on Dacronia had been cleared. So we now have this space right here for uh, mining purposes. So this is an interesting feature. So you can now click build pop and you can say build multiple. And I don't have enough to build more than one, but I can click on the Morse Machinian and just select where I want them to build. And if I had enough resources, I could click others we we'll just fill in those tiles and queue them all up. So he's going to be being built there, so that's going to give us another another guy. Uh, one thing I do want to do is I'm going to build a couple of hunter-killer armies. So I can build one right now. So we're going to let that be. Uh, so as we can see, we have found some uh, minerals here. Now that's a that's a, a yellow sun. So that sun hopefully is going to produce some energy for us. Most yellow suns do. I haven't seen one that hasn't. Oh, like this one. Well, that's wonderful. I had my fingers crossed for this one. So we're going to send this guy down and he's going to 
this is my construction ship right here and uh, he's pretty nice and I'm gonna send him all the way down here to build a mining station and so that's gonna cost us some energy uh, credits uh, it's gonna lower our energy income but it's gonna increase our minerals right now minerals is kind of what we need I mean we need a balance but uh, in general uh, we're gonna need to uh, we're gonna need to start to getting more minerals so we can build more things to build more energy it's, it's a give and take for a long time until you get to that sweet spot so another thing I need to look at doing is increasing my space uh, spaceport I have it's gonna cost me a hundred minerals per Corvette and I want to keep that Naval System survey complete. I want to keep my ships as close to my naval capacity as possible. So this was a terrible starting se sector. Two minerals, two lousy minerals. Hopefully, um, hopefully this system is going to pay off a little bit more. Lots of planets in here, and construction the complete. science vessel is off and investigating so hopefully hopefully we'll learn something so moving back to our technology we still got around 45 months 30 months for uh, the engineering but uh, still several months uh, several years away um, hopefully oh look at that perfect so what we got right there is we discovered some energy, sweet, delicious energy. So we're going to build a mining station right above that. So you can see the little outline where we're going to eventually build the mining station. So that's the mining station to be. And that's going to add two energy units to our resources. And as you can see, we also have some society research. Uh, I will undoubtedly be building a science uh, a science station there because early game it can be oft ignored these uh, these uh, uh, research uh, potentials uh, but they're really important to keep you at a pace with the uh, rest of the universe. So for saving up some money so in another month or two we're gonna have enough to uh, build another ship so we're gonna build a corvette add that to our main fleet that'll give us four ships astounding so all right We're gonna take a quick construction pop. complete. So there we go. We have now 17 uh, minerals being made of turn, but we also have eight energy. Construction complete. Excellent. So our fleet's filling up slowly but surely. Um, nothing I can add to the spaceport there. I am next month. I'm gonna build another hunter killer army. Ooh. And my scientist has gained a level. That's one interesting thing they did uh, with the new uh, the new update that came alongside of Synthetic Dawn is maybe it was there before. I don't think so. Uh, but the restrictions, the level limits have been increased because it used to be the level limits of your commanders and scientists and stuff could, was five. But now, as, as you can see, I have two out of seven. Uh, and that's because I have uh, uh, I took several perks that allowed system increase, survey complete an increased uh, cap on my leadership skills. So we have an anomaly that's popped up right now, and you'll see I got it set on auto pause. Uh, by chance, we stumbled upon a faint alien signal during the survey of this planet. The source appears to be a small object in orbit. The signal contains no message. Could it be a distress transponder? Uh, it is an anomaly level one. There's a 10% risk, a uh, uh, 10% chance of failure. So I'm gonna research it. Sounds good to me. 
Still no sign of any uh, filthy organics, so that we can... Uh, I mean, beloved new converts to the glorious way. Oh, we will... Oh, I forgot to unpause. That's going to be a thing I'm going to keep doing. I usually have it so it auto-unpauses when I close the window. But I wanted to always pause at this point. So we're going to take a look here at the Unity score. So we've got lots of uh, Unity perks. And I think the first one I'm going to do... Oh, shoot. 10% my ass. Failure. There was some sort of unidentified object in orbit around Akmal. Uh, no, four, but the INQ Demi accidentally collided with it uh, when moving closer to investigate. Science officer uh, Sofan V05 reports that the object regrettably was destroyed in the collision. So that could have been way worse. So, anyway, I'm going to go with Supremacy first because uh, that's going to give me that 20% border increased range right off the bat, and it's going to make my, uh, sh uh, my Navy a little bit better for fighting. And that is something I definitely want. So we've got another construction ship here. That's another new thing. Um, it doesn't show you finished resources anymore. Like if I've got like if I move my cursor directly over it, it shows in green here that I have uh, a, a energy station uh, uh, built, an energy mining resource built, uh, and. But it doesn't, uh, if you take it away, it won't show it. And that's nice. It, it unclutters things. So I'm going to build this. Uh, I'm going to spend 90 minerals. I'm going to build a research ship there. A research station for the bio labs. And after that, uh, I'm going to definitely take advantage of this uh, mining station here. Uh, three resources, uh, three minerals from one station. Sounds like a good trade-off to me. Um... Our pop, pop is still being built here, and I'm going to start once uh, I have a bit more money. So two months from now, I think, I'll build a mining network here. And one thing I should be building is an uplink node. Cost 100 uh, minerals, but that's going to generate more unity. And this right here is a great place to put it. So uh, I think I'm actually going to go with the uplink node first. Yeah. All right, moving right along. So the science ship is still researching. Uh, it has finished this area, so it's going to go down. Construction complete. Going to go on down here. I see our borders expanded slightly. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to queue up searching. I'm going to say the next place I want you to search is said the next place I want you to search is right here and then we're gonna actually search this black hole and after that we're gonna go back here it's not the most efficient way I definitely want to take a look at that black hole get a nice good look at the gaping maws to the abyss yeah, around this is called what is this place called the her black hole system her to dirt. All right, so we've system survey complete. We've got enough that we can build an uplink node now, and that's good. And I'm gonna actually move this dude construction complete over to the uplink node. So once that uplink node is built, this guy will start manning it, and we're just gonna start seeing an increase in unity. Uh, it's actually gonna double our unity in uh, which gains, which is which is a good thing. <laughs> So, oh, we have a potentially habitable planet. It's two of them. That is fantastic. That is incredibly good to see. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in here. Uh, we don't have enough minerals to build our new uh, station yet, but we're going to send him over and orbit it anyway. Just so probably by the time he gets over there, uh, he'll have enough resources to build it. Oh, no, he needs 90. Uh, I don't know. The rate he's going. Chugga chugga. Alright. So, and we're going to build that up. And then after that, we're going to start saving money up for our first colony ship. Because um, we definitely want to keep our borders expanding aggressively. 
uh, we want to find any um, uh, primitive planets and we're going to forcibly assimilate them early. We're just going to land our, our troops down, we're going to take over the planet, and yeah, that's that's the plan at least. So we're going to build that uh, Construction middle here. Complete. Uh, oh, that would be... The uplink node is finished. That's good. So we're going to pause it for one second, and we're going to go into the available traditions. Um, I really like taking supremacy for the first. Expansion's another good one. Increases colony development. Um, I don't plan on doing a lot of diplomacy. I don't think anyone's going to want to be diplomatic with me either. Um, so I think I am going to stick with supremacy. That's going to give my... Uh, Navy a bit of a extra oomph off the beginning and it's going to expand that border range which is look at that beautiful that's what I wanted to see discovery of alien life the ink uh, demi reports a monumentous find on Bahau 2 a myriad of alien organic life forms have been discovered while none of them are sufficiently evolved to be considered desirable candidates for assimilation the likelihood of encountering sapient organics beyond Draconia is now more promising than ever. Excellent. That's what I like to hear. Ooh, high quality minerals too. <laughs> too bad it's only like one mineral place. Um, I can just maybe build mining stations all over where there would be food stations. Yeah, we'll do that. So one thing I am definitely going to do right now is I'm going to assign a general, an admiral. Um, ooh, we have confirmed animal life on an alien world. Excellent. Good for you. So look at these guys. Cyborgs. Fantastic. Uh, I'm going to actually have this guy. He's going to be in charge. Good for you, buddy. So we're going to keep going. So yeah, we do have dangerous wildlife there. Can't, can't assimilate it. Not yet. Uh, still building our uh, mineral constructions over there. And we should be looking at building Construction another, complete. another Corvette here in another couple of months. We're definitely getting our... Um, Mineral in cake is doing good, but as you can see, we're down to only four credits surplus. That's going to hamper us when we want to increase our population, uh, and it's going to hamper us when we want to increase our fleet size. So we're going to definitely need to keep an eye out for little gems like this. So we're going to send this guy over, and we're going to build a mining station there, actually, rather than immediately jump into building another ship. Now, that said, by the time he gets down there, we'll probably have enough to build another Corvette. System survey complete. All right. So he's going to go over here, survey the, the black hole. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Hey, that's good. More powerful servo motors will increase the weight of our robotic units can, uh, that our robotic units can carry. Mining units can haul more minerals off to, the proce uh, to be processed and war machines can be fitted with heavier armaments. New research required. Okay. So, here we go. So we got three options. They're all really good. This is going to allow us to upgrade our, our mining networks. This the is going to... spirits have granted us new wisdom. I'm going to pause it while we do this. This is going to uh, allow us... It's going to allow us to upgrade ourselves. Uh, and it's going to unlock RoboModding which allows us to design specially modified robot populations. And this is going to increase our spaceport, which is our stepping stone to getting destroyers and uh, more advanced spaceships. So I'm at a loss at which one, at which one to take. I'm really flitting between these two. I think I'm going to go with improved spaceport. It's, it's cheap. It's like the mid-cost between the three of them, but it's going to yield me the most benefits, I think, in the long run getting uh, uh, advanced space ports early on. Uh, society... Um... 
I can unlock a network junction. That's going to increase my unity. Unity. I can go for another naval increase naval capacity. But I think I'm actually going to go with maintenance command and reduce the army upkeep. So we're going to let those go, and we're going to see what happens next. Take a look at these two worlds. Now this is interesting. Right here, that's Bithri uh, Bitharian stone, uh, which is a tremendous energy-producing resource. So we're going to want to go there. We're going to want to clear out that dangerous wildlife as soon as we get the tile blockers for it. But I'm definitely going to settle uh, Volhall 3 when we can. So let's take a look actually at what that's going to cost us. 100 uh, um, influence, which we have. But it's going to cost us 500 System minerals. System survey complete in order to send a colony ship there. So, we're a little a little ways off so far. And I mean, we still want to keep building things like energy uh, and uh, mineral mining stations. Um, so, right now from... Yeah, it's gonna comp take five... Construction complete. Ten. It's gonna take quite a while uh, a couple years for us to save just save up the money to be able to buy a colony ship but I guess you know that's fine and this is another great uh, territory we got two two habitable worlds here I know in uh, uh, some people I play with they like if the planet's not perfect they're not gonna bother colonizing it but that's not how I play I believe in like taking every single planet no matter how trashy it is um, and what's great about these is, um, right here you'll see directly controlled colonized systems, and we can effectively control five. Uh, so, basically, no matter how many planets are habitable in this, this place is only going to count as one system. So it could have five planets in there, so we're going to be able to... Uh, this is basically going to allow us to keep more controlled planets, and I like having planets directly under my control. Uh, the Her Black Hole system has engineering resources available. That's interesting. So, the question is... You know what? There's no question to it. I am actually just going to build a mining station here. and That's going to push up uh, us up almost to 25 minerals incoming. Um, I'm going to check my tech. Three more months, and we have solar panels. So that's the next thing I'm going to do. So I'm going to build a solar panel on my capital on this little space station here. Little place waiting right for it. Um, however, I am blowing money. Ooh, what's this? Just saw System a System survey go. complete. Just saw a vessel fly on by. That's interesting. All right, so let's pause it for a second. We gotta find out a new route for our science station, uh, science ship. It's time for us to kind of expand beyond our borders. So we're gonna, I think, we're gonna take a look down this branch. It's gonna re uh, end with us researching another black hole. So we're gonna go there, and we're just gonna plot the course. We're going to move all the way there, and eventually, once we're done with uh, Abaddon's demise, demise, we're going to we're gonna probably start off here. The spirits depending on have how, granted us new wisdom. Just probably depends on how the research goes. There could be pirates or amoebas or anything out there, for all I know. So, we finally got our solar panel modules. So, we're going to unlock... And we're going to unlock Gravit... Uh, uh, Gravitrek sensors to increase our scanning potential. Just, you know, get a better look out there. Oh, and we have more unity. So, this is another... We get to choose our first tradition. Um, I'm going to choose uh, increased naval capacity and increased shipbuilding speed. That's my plan there. And we're going to unpause it. And, uh, oh yeah. Construction complete. We're going to build that solar panel network. It's only 75 minerals, but it's going to give us a much needed boost to our energy. 
Uh, we got a construction ship. Right now, I'm just really hesitant to keep building things until we get more of an influx of energy. So we should be looking on the surface here and seeing. I'm gonna pause it for a second. We're gonna, we're gonna, when we get a chance, we're gonna convert this into a power plant. So in a couple months, we're gonna have enough money. Uh, one more month, we'll have enough money to build a new power plant on there, and I think we'll build a new population. I don't think my cockroach cyborgs are, are uh, they don't seem to be breeding. I'm going to pause it for a moment, and we're going to take a look at species, and we're going to take a look at their rights. Their rights are default to machine integration, and... Let's take a look. Living standards. Drone. Yeah, that seems fine by me. Population controls. Enabled. Yeah, we're going to leave that the way it is. I didn't want those little cockroaches reproducing all over the place. Hello. All right. So we have here an energy-rich sector. So we have two planets so far that are producing energy. So we're going to want to get closer to that. So my options here are wait till we explore a, a bit more found. wait until we explore a bit more and then build a frontier station out there until we like start getting uh planets to be colonized um all right we get an anomaly the material composition of this asteroid differs significantly from its neighbors this likely has a different origin than the other bodies of this asteroid belt and should be investigated more closely all right give it a try take a look at that so I think I am gonna wait probably until it researches let's see once it researches here I'm gonna build uh, that's a really that's kind of the middle of this uh, section of uh, systems so once it researches this place which is next I will build a frontier station in it and that should cover the uh, region with my beautiful colors and allow me to start uh, claiming the resources there. Fossils from what appears to be several species of aquatic animals have been found on the barren and airless surface of 377D394. There are indications that the surrounding asteroid belt was created from the remains of a shattered planet, and these findings seem to confirm that theory. Judging by the fossils, the planet supported life and was was at least partially covered by water. Fascinating. Gives me 60 points in society research. We'll take it. Alright. So, what I'm going to do is because I'm saving construction up. Construction complete. I'm going to send my construction ship right over here into this region. Um, now, you'll see like the little green dashed lines. That's our sensor. right? That's not to be confused with our orange border, which is... Uh, like, for instance, even though uh, Akmal is in our uh, uh, within our, our official borders, we don't know what's going on in there. Uh, we have high intel levels, but we actually don't know what's going on there. Enemy ships could be stationed there, and we might only have an inkling. Uh, but this green dotted line is our current sensor readings. System so. survey complete. All right. So hopefully there's nothing hostile in there. The intel level low. Nothing hostile in there, not that we see. So I'm going to take the construction ship and I'm just going to have him. He's just going to chill out in there. Now, here's the thing we might not need to build a. Uh, if we save up enough money. And colonize one of these planets. Going to colonize this one. That might extend our uh, borders far enough. So that might actually solve our problem rather than setting up a, a co paying all the resources and influence costs to anomaly uh, found uh, to maintain a frontier station. So we'll think on that and we'll we'll just kind of consider it. So our first finds on Ublia. Eight point towards more interesting discoveries to be made on the surface. 10% risk failure. We're going to research that. All right.
unpause. I gotta remember to do that. My old man, mine, they're not working out too well. Alright. Lots of stuff going on in that system. So, I gotta resist the temptation of just spending all my money on, uh, uh, spending all my money on uh, uh, ships and stuff. We definitely need that first colony ship. Uh, located in a remote part of Oblia 8, the science team of the Inc. Uh, Demi has found an out-of-place metallic tablet. It contains basic information about a distant system using illustrations and what appears to be a periodic table. Science officer Sofant B05 has been able to use the information to deduce the location and potential resources of this system. We gain full survey data on a region that would be this place. Must be that place. Doesn't seem to have any resources. No docks. Looks like a terrible system to have gained information on. Terrible indeed. Intelligent life taunts, uh, taunts with pointed absence reads a popular newsnet post on Dacronia. The people of the glorious uh, Morse Machinian Imperium are apparently finding some humor in the fact that lower life forms of alien, lower forms of alien life, are now a matter of public record, but potential equals from other stars continue to elude us. Science officer so. Uh, Sofunt VO5's report on traces found on Ublia 8 seemingly only add an ironic twist to the situation. Alright. Cute, I guess. And how much more we got to that research in here? So quite a bit. Zoom in all the way here. Gonna research that big old blue star. God, that's pretty. Alright. So we're uh we're actually only about a hundred points away from being able to uh build our first colony ship, so that's actually pretty good. Uh, we'll, I, I'm going to build the colony ship, and then we're going to see if we need to uh, create... Oh, uh, give me a second there. Uh, we're going to see if we need to build the Frontier Station. I'm hoping... It might be too far out, but I'm hoping with our expanded bander, band, border range we'll be fine. Scientists gain traits. Through hard work and experience, scientist uh, Sofant B05 has developed new skills. It's the Voidcraft trait. Eh, that gives him a bonus when uh, researching space stuff, so that's, that's nice. Alright. Oh yeah, that's going to be a nice, nice sector to... Uh... I might build a frontier station there anyway. So, we're almost there. We'll start getting ready. Anomaly found. Oh. An ancient orbital shipyard drifts in the silence above this world. It has suffered significant battle damage, and an entire sections of the facility are missing. Research? Absolutely. That could be an interesting find. Unpause, he said to himself knowingly. I'll get used to it. Uh, I should really be increasing my naval capacity. Uh, my, my current navy instead of just the capacity. That's what I meant to say. Alright. An automated shipyard. While conducting their survey of uh, Ublé uh, 7, uh, the Inquidemi uh, detected the remains of an automated shipyard in orbit. It is at least a thousand years old and seems to have uh, been subjected to heavy missile barrage, but one of its manufacturing bays is still working, in still working condition. Uh, Science Officer Sofund V05 is confident that power can be restored to the shipyard, but it would be a significant pro uh, project. Situation log updated. Alright, so that lets us 
go into our situation log. Hitting all the wrong buttons. So then we have repair automated shipyard. Um, so I believe I need a scientist at the proper appropriate level, and I do believe that's he does have the appropriate level. So what I'm gonna do right now is he's got still got all this stuff queued up. I'm gonna hit Control and Shift, and that's gonna let me insert a command. So when I hold, hold control and shift, you're going to notice that this line is going to diverge, go over here, and then it's going to continue on. So that's exactly what it did. It inserted this as the next thing, and then he's just going to go back to his regular business. So we're going to unpause. And when this month ends, we're going to finally have enough money. The spirits right. have granted us new wisdom. All right. So first off, we're going to research this tech. That's going to decrease our army. Upkeep. I do like that. We're going to research the bio lab. Got to learn more about those organics to absorb them, I think. And here we go. We're going to build this. Colonize. And we're going to colonize right here. Uh, that's because even though this and this are blocked off, Later on, it's going to give an adjacency bonus because it's next to the capital uh, tile. So there we go. That's going to start building. Um, it bankrupted us big time. But we're going to have ourselves a new colony before you know it. So the question is, what next? Lots of uh, lots of energy resources. I, I I could really use seven more energy right now. That's the thing. But you cannot build. Uh, you cannot exploit a system for resources if it is not within your borders. And you definitely want that. So what I will do. Is I'm gonna take the time to. Uh, just get some more minerals, I guess. Feel pretty confident that we're gonna have uh, lots of energy soon. Very confident, actually. Let's see, we're and we're only six months away from our next uh, tradition. We should be shopping around at that. Um, Special project complete. I think I'm going to go with electronic warfare. Special project complete. Science officer Sofan BO5 has successfully restored power to the automated shipyard over Udlia 7. The facility immediately resumed its interrupted construction order using what materials it had on hand to build an advanced frigate of unknown design. Unfortunately, the ancient facility broke down completely afterwards and has now been deemed beyond repair. We have sent a crew to the new ship and pressed it into service with our fleet. Excellent. So, we got a new ship. So, we're going to send that. So we're going to select our two ships. This is my primary fleet. I'm going to press the G button, and it's going to send the new ships over to merge with the existing military. So, that was fortunate. We're almost done building our colony ship. Well, we're halfway done. All right, looking good. Nice. That new ship has amazing sensors. So I'm not going to complain too much about that. And they will go under uh, Pillix's command. So, we're going to spend a little bit of money, and we're going to clear up that terrain, because that's, that's sweet energy, we definitely need that, and we're actually going to build a power plant here, we're just going to override the, the food stuff, who needs that, it sounds like filthy organic things, um, and uh, 
once system survey complete once we have enough money we're going to start building more robotic population uh more robot robopops construction complete all right so we're going to pause it for a second we got a lot of stuff going on here so we are going to add i'm actually going to add selective devastation and that's going to uh have my cost of war demands go down in case i go to war but that's really i just wanted to open uh the way to my increased admiral caps which is nice so also you'll see while we are currently colonizing we take on a uh, massive penalty uh, I think it's minus eight so I'm actually running at a deficit with my energy credits right now but it's only at like a point nine three uh, and uh, it won't take that long to colonize I should be fine Plus, I'm going to be building uh, some, uh, I'm going to be expanding my home planet's uh, electronic reserves here. So, for example, I can now build a pop here. So we're building that buddy there. And he's going to immediately put two more, when he's done building, he's going to put two more uh, energy credits per month into our uh, coffers, I guess it would be. All right, colony ship. Colony ship is making its way. We're gonna, we're gonna go to. Oh, get back here. Take a little look at this guy. He gets ready to touch down. Oh yeah. Get that sweet uh, Brazian or when it, we finally get the tile unlockers and that's another thing once we start colonizing hold on a second once we start colonizing we are able to uh uh start unlocking the ability we are to spreading our faith to a new world we are able to start unlocking the ability to uh, uh remove these tiles remove these tiles uh, our colony ship has successfully followed its program path and made planet fall on uh, Volhall Prime. Thousands of work units have emerged from the vessel's massive cargo bays to construct an initial deployment post from which the settlement can expand. Efforts to systematically catalog and designate surface resource deposits are, are ongoing, and all aggressive wildlife in the area surrounding the initial landing site have uh, been pacified. Uh, we are now ready to begin mass production of additional uh, Morse Machinia population units on the planet as resource allow. Our first colony is a success. This is a great day for our Imperium. So, that is currently a work in progress. So, the process costs 8 energy units per month uh, and is going to take approximately 58 months. So that's going to take a little while, and that's fine. That's what we expected. But as it grows, we're going to see our, ex our borders expand. And now that I'm kind of looking top down at it, we can see this little octagon here, hexagon. Six-sided. I don't know what six-sided is. Septagon. Hexa anyway, uh, once that is fully in our territory, we're going to be able to claim it and start exploiting its resources. So we have an inactive building, uh, and that is a power plant. That is right. We're going to move him up there, because he's still, still in the process of being built. And we are going to build another power plant here. Uh, but we are also going System to build survey complete. a robot pop. So we're, we're building more, uh, expanding our population there. That's just fine. All right. Uh, now you'll see that this place is now within our borders. And that's important because that's going to allow us to start building mining stations here. So I need 90, 90 minerals to build a mining station. Lacking three currently, but that'll, that'll be done in a month. Easy. Any second now. Here we go. And now we can start building a mining station there. So that's going to take us out of our deficit and we can start accumulating energy again. And that's good. 
That's very good, actually. So our science, our science guy, science bot, he's still searching along, heading towards the Abaddon's Demons, which is his last stop. We got another inactive building. Yeah. Build another pop here. Oh, I need more money. Let's see here. I'll move him there. There we go. And uh, in another month's time. Actually, I'm going to put... Ooh. Okay, so first off, I'm going to put a hold... <laughs> this is good timing. I'm going to put a hold on building... Like doing more ground development on uh, the Cronia. What I'm going to do is start saving up money for more ships. And to expand my spaceport. Because I'm still at less than half capacity of my naval, uh, naval capacity. And that's just not going to cut it. Uh, I definitely need more ships because these guys are not going to like me when we make contact. And speaking of which, encounter in uh, Rovanic, yeah, Rovanic. We have stumbled upon some form of alien vessel in the Rovanic system. These strange objects have been flagged as alpha aliens. Until we can learn more about them, we should proceed with caution. So we're going to go take a look at these guys. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Enigmatic spacefarers. We have encountered advanced uh, alien life. Contact seems inevitable. What we got here? These guys not looking like they're going to be communicating, but they're not hostile, so that's good. But we can launch a research project. It's going to take eight months, and it's going to basically stall our current societal development. So we're going to research that because we need to know if we can assimilate guys system survey complete tasty tasty assimilation all right so Rovenek was kind of a, a bust of a system to be honest still working along uh Valhalla prime construction complete and as you heard our construction was complete uh giving us more energy credits pulling us out of the negatives so i'm gonna go over the spaceport and we're going to build another corvette corvette class definitely need more of those i wonder with driven assimilator if we're going to be like able to actually conduct any kind of diplomacy whatsoever uh, i doubt it but uh it's not like we're exterminators Construction complete. All right. Through hard work and experience, Governor Sofant uh, OE35 has developed new skills. He's an architectural interest trait. All right, so what's going on here? Inactive building. Uh, need to build a pop. Construction complete. I just need one more pop to fi finish that. Uh, finish that collection off. So we're going to build them right here, and that will start, we're going to see a real change in the influx of our energy credits, hopefully. And we're going to send him over to enter the orbit over there, and we will be building another energy anomaly found energy uh, mining station when we get the chance. So here we go. There is a significant scarring. There is significant scarring on the surface of this world in a pattern that cannot be natural. From orbit, the massive rifts almost look like writing. We will research this. Mysterious message. Hmm. So we're unpausing is what we're doing. <laughs> And uh, we're gonna take a look over here. Our new, our new buddy Pop. He's almost done here. Has produced, mind you, increases the uh, build time quite a bit, so that's good. So he's almost done, and then he can start building the other guys. You know, we're gonna. I'm gonna actually switch these guys to spots because this produces more energy, and I want it active first. 
Um, someone used a mining laser from orbit approximately 5,000 years ago to carve a large body of writing into the surface of Pelonine 2. The massive script covers a large portion of the planet's upper hemisphere and appears to be a short story chronicling the difficulty, the difficult life of an alien mercenary. Fascinating. So that adds a plus three society uh, research to that particular planet. So if we can expand our boards there, which I'm hoping we will... Oops, sorry, my alarm just went off. Uh, we'll be able to eventually uh, add that to our Special list. Special project complete. Add that to our list of exploited resources. Tianqi, the space-born life forms which we call Tianqi, ha are docile creatures capable of accessing some lower dimension of subspace. They roam from system to system with remarkable ease. They graze on gases common in the upper layers of many gas giants. It is highly unlikely, to say the least, that this is their only food source, but in, uh, intake of nut other nutrients has yet to be observed. They will not attack unless provoked. They can be safely ignored. Hunting them would be a, a net loss anyway. So that's going to give us frequency tuning. So we go over here, we can look at our... Oh, we had frequency tuning. Maybe not. We got Zooks. Oh, unpause it. Sorry. Taking a look at our population. Modifiers. Sometimes it takes a month for these things to kick in. Oh, it doesn't look like a, a frequency tuning. Clearly, I'm mad. And we got 31 more months for our next uh, tradition. A tradition are great because you, as you unlock traditions, as many of you already know, you get a chance to, uh, once you complete a tradition tree, and there's five in each tradition tree, uh, five traditions per tree, once you complete that, you get an ascension perk, and they are really interesting, kind of higher level powers that really allow you to customize the feel for your empire, uh, and kind of focus on what you're doing. Um, all right. So we definitely have more. Look at that. Plus four uh, energy credits. We've got two more robots being built. So that's good for now. So what we can do is we can spend 100 more building another Corvette class ship. And in another two months, we'll have enough money for another Corvette class ship. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. All right. We got another tech done. So that's our sensors. Um... We're going to take a look, and we are actually going to upgrade our energy storage capacity. Uh, we're going to research field manipulation. Is this going to increase our capacity of energy? Give us, uh, allow us to store 7,000 rather than 5,000. But it's also going to allow us our power plants to be upgraded to level 2. Uh, and that is going to be really necessary in getting us to a nice balance between energy and minerals. Uh, later on, you'll be, like, stockpiling tons and tons and tons of energy. Uh, so much that you'll fill up. Uh, Construction complete. Hopefully by that time we'll meet a, an alien species that will engage and trade with us. Alright. Let's take a look here. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. I'm going to build that other Corvette class, and we're going to go look at what... Oh, yes. Improved spaceport. Done at last. And this is definitely my next option. Unlocks Etharian power plant. Etharian. Uh, and they're they're tremendous. They generate a lot of power. One of them generates 10 energy. So that's going to actually... That one place, once we get unlocked, is going to help out so much. But to get access to it, we're going to need to be able to bypass the dangerous wildlife. So we're going to keep our eye out for a tech that allows us to remove the dangerous wildlife tile blocker. All right. Science ship is construction still researching. complete. Oh, what do we got here? We briefly detected some unusual energy readings emanating from this planet. It might have been a glitch in our systems, or it could have been a sign of something more. Research! research it all right so one thing we should look at right now is our sensors have all been upgraded 
and it's going to cost 48 uh, minerals to upgrade all our current existing uh, main fleet, which we're going to do. And theoretically, we should see an expanse in our sensor range. Theoretically. Oh, that's right. Got to unpause. Our ships have been improved. Yeah, we got a little bit bigger there, so that's good. All right. So on the home world here, still building this robot. Oh yeah, that's a nice uh, jump, in. jump in our border range. So we got two more robots being built. That's that's fine. Glancing hit while approaching uh, Halloween uh, Seven, the Ink. Demi suddenly received a glancing hit by several passing mass driver rounds. The projectiles were billions of years old, and based on their trajectory, they appeared to be stray rounds fired from a nearby uh, neighboring galaxy. After missing their intended target, they continued on their journey for untold millennia until today. The rounds we have recovered are of an advanced design despite their incredible age. Incredible! That increases our engineering. So basically, we were able to take a look at the the, the work, the, uh, those, those missiles, and go, yeah, we can make these. And we're going to pause the game and keep going. So my construction ship, it's going to cost six uh, minerals to upgrade. I'm going to do that. Um, I'm going to press shift and have it upgrade. So after it's done scanning the black hole, it's going to take off and go to the nearest starport and upgrade itself. So... Still building, building another pop unit, so that's good. Construction, construction ship is going home to get uh, built up a bit. It's also good. Uh, and after that, I think we're going to jeepers. We're going to swoop on down, and we're going to get that other energy in the system. We're going to go down here, and we're actually just going to. Click on our construction ship, make sure it's selected, and then we're going to build mining outpost. So when you pre pre queue things like this, like I could set my construction ship and I could just go along. If I had the resources, I could queue all constructing everything in these different systems here. And he would just hop from system, system to system. System survey complete. Following those instructions, uh, I need to have the money. Our ships have been improved. To declare that's what I'm doing, and if I cancel it, I am refunded the money. So that's good. So you'll see he's going, he's going back here. He's going to build me a nice little energy station there. These guys are all fully upgraded. Colony ship is at a whopping, what is that? I can't actually read, find out what it is, but we're almost there. Slowly but surely. And let's see. Now, oh, place is almost built up. Let's take a look at our science. Two months later, rating on the bio. Level. Our ships have been improved. Good, good, good. All right, so the science ship is ready to take back to the skies. So the question is, where? I think the next best option is probably going to be down this way because we have two connecting points here so we're gonna search here search here we're gonna go the long way around definitely taking the long way and we'll survey here and then here and if the ship's still alive by then, or we're not plunged in galactic war, that'll be fine and dandy. So we got another spaceport coming up. Here's the thing: I want to save up a bit more money. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Uh, to upgrade the spaceport, and that's going to give me another uh, module slot, but also make it easier for when we're going for uh, destroyers on next uh, next level ship up. All right, so we have. Why would I want to unlock, uh, unlock terrestrial sculpting? Um, we're going to actually select this one here, subterranean colonization, and it unlocks the deep sinkholes. So 
anything really now to unlock uh, tile blockers. Oh, a 23 planet size arid world. Fantastic. Right on my borders. That's going to be excellent for expanding. Uh, that's going to be our first major bite down this way. And I do like it. Now, what was I... I was... Construction oh, complete. yes. I was going to upgrade the spaceport to level 2. Now, upgrading the spaceport not only just gives me an additional module, I do believe upgrading the spaceport increases my naval capacity. Loving the new soundtrack. Um, one great thing with Solaris, and I think Crusader Kings 2 now as well, is you can open the music player and you can customize what songs you want to hear. And this is all part of the new Synthetic Dawn ones. Ro Robotic God is, is probably my favorite so far. So, good music, good music. You should definitely look up their uh, music guys on uh, Twitter if you get a chance. Uh, they're, they're nice guys and they're they know their stuff 100 percent and all right so still moving along we got this construction System ship survey ready. complete look at that that it's in my territory it's got a 23 size category planets and it's got 10 minerals are they all like on like oh we got a four that one's on that planet itself. I should just wait and colonize that planet. That seems like a good idea to me. Construction complete. That'll help expand the borders, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Alright. Corvette assembly yards. Now, Corvette assembly yards are going to cost me a, a maintenance cost of one energy unit. But it's going to increase the speed of building the Corvettes. Hmm, not worth it just yet. Not yet. Hmm. Oh. So we're going to add in... I wanted to have an army of four. So we're going to have four hunter-killer armies completely ready for planetary invasions and whatnot. So we definitely need to have them. Uh, look at that. Okay, so we're going to move... Move that guy into orbit. Okay, so we got a couple things going on here. First, we'll read this. The Arsirian Concordant. We've received... Uh, we have recovered artifacts from an ancient alien civilization on X9394. From what we have translated so far of their language, we have learned those aliens called themselves the Erasians, uh, the Erasian Concordant. They were an interstellar power that held sway over this region of the galaxy a little over a million years ago. Uh, they appear to have been six-limbed mammals, and there are several references to some sort of plague called the Javorian Pox, which swept across their empire with devastating results possibly leading to their extinction. Interesting. Situation log updated. Very interesting. And what that's going to do, that's going to give us access to what's called the precursor, a precursor chain. So it's selected the, the precursors. These are the precursors, the concordant ones, that we're going to be dealing with this time. And we want to find six of their artifacts before anybody else does. And uh, then it's going to allow us an opportunity to find their home system. That's usually what happens. So more importantly, we got a new tradition available, uh, and we are going to combat variable uh, mitigation, which is going to increase our admiral's uh, level cap by two, which is something I, de I definitely did want. So looking over here, right now, mm, did that do exactly what I thought it did? Maybe I misread. I didn't do that. Admiral level cap increased by two. Mm, no, should have should have worked out. So he's got a level cap of 1 out of 7, so yeah, seems about right. Okay, so we've got a construction ship heading to orbit over this beautifully re uh, resource-rich uh, uh, place. We're going to have a build a mining station here. 
Just need one more credit. So one, uh, one more measly month away. And we're going to build that station up and we're going to be able to... There we go. I'm going to squeeze just a little more juice out of it. And the good news is we are almost done this colony, which is going to actually free up a considerable amount of, of uh, resources. We're going to have eight uh, extra resources coming in there, so that's going to be nice. Building our hunter-killer drones. Everything is looking Anomaly pretty sharp. Found. Uh huh. By chance, we stumbled upon a faint alien signal during the survey of this planet. The source appears to be a small object in orbit. The signal contains no message. Could it be a distress transponder? Last time we bumped into it and destroyed it, but we're going to cross our fingers and hope things work out well this time. Structure ship doing well. Colony ship doing great. Unpause button is being hit. I swear. Oh, there's the, the Tainaki again. Now you'll see, we don't know too much about what's going on here. Oh. That's interesting. These guys are actually kind of banged up. So something attacked them in the deep recesses of space. Something that way. An abandoned life pod was detected in close or, uh, orbit of Fulmahat 3. It is covered in scorch marks, presumably from where the, when the pod's mothership exploded, and preliminary scans suggest it was built more than 5,000 years ago. The crew of the Ink Demi managed to open the pod, revealing the withered remains of a reptilian uh, alien clad in a resplendent uniform. Clutched in one of its claws was a small picture of another individual of the same race, possibly a mate or a revered leader. Interesting. I will take that 60 more points. Okay. Construction ship working hard. Military is still rising in power. Almost on the colonization process. All right. And construction another constru uh, construction ship is finished, and we are going to move these guys over here. The faithful have claimed a new world. All right, so we've established the colony. We'll go check that out immediately. So we've already got some. We've already started generating some energy from there. That's fantastic. Um, we don't have enough to uh, build some more bots there, so we're going to save up a bit of money and we're going to start putting bots down. And we got more army recruitment being finished. Leaders leveling up. All good, all good. So we've got our first colonized planet. Uh, and that's that's a big deal. That's that's pretty fantastic. Um, we need to get System at least survey complete. five pop units on this planet. And I'm thinking one, two, three, that's four. And we're going to drop a fifth one anywhere because we want to get this area clear and drop another unit on there. That's our priority unit. We want to get a power plant put up there as soon as possible so we can pretty much double, almost double our uh, our uh, intake of uh, uh, energy credits. So looking good. So we got that guy. He's almost done. And all right, so we're gonna build construction complete. We're gonna build another, uh, build another pop. Bam. All right, so let's take a look here. I really, really just, you know, I don't have the resources to colonize it yet. So we're going to enter orbit there, and we're going to build a The mineral. spirits have granted us new wisdom. We're going to build a mineral power plant over there, and that'll be fine. Uh, we got a new tech. There's our Barathean power plant. Cannot wait to get that up and running. Ah, excellent. So what we have here is RoboModding, and, and I promised myself internally that I would take that, build, uh, research the machine template system. It's going to take us almost 100 months to do but it's going to allow us to upgrade our species. 
And, you know, construction that's, complete. That's definitely what we want. We want to continue to expand our species' great capabilities to wage the eternal holy war. All right. So, with that, guys, I think we're off to a nice solid start. We haven't met any other races yet, but it's a big galaxy. Uh, our glorious Imperium is going to definitely go forth and spread the word to the unenlightened so thanks for tuning in if you want to see more of this uh let's play uh like uh or subscribe to the video turn on notifications and uh, enjoy it hit like if you have any questions about why the hell am i doing it this way or have any suggestions on uh improving my style of play by all means leave a comment in the video uh it was wonderful uh having you all here and we'll see you next time